hello viewers welcome to my tutorial once again today i am going to show you how to develop a raffle draw application using excel vba so here we have a raffle draw application uh, for manchester united football club for the raffle draw of year 2019 and we will display the lucky numbers or the winners here in this cell using this uh, excel vba common button okay so let us uh, uh, let us demonstrate first and after that we will see how to develop it so let's click on this number on this common button and see it is changing it has given a new uh, raffle draw winner that is 177 and the next one is 229 and next one is 413 so it is uh, picking up the numbers randomly okay so very simple uh, application but uh, but often uh, needed so I'm going to show you how to develop this step by step, okay? So uh, you must have noticed that we have displayed from column A to E here and row number one to six here. For this, we need only this space, not much. So what I'm going to do is I'm in sheet number two, I'm going to do the same. Uh, I'll pick up the column width from here. So click right button, column width and how much? 10.43. So width of column A in sheet number 2 should be 10.43, okay. And then sheet number 2, sheet number 1, column width B, 10.57. So let us make it 10.57 as well, 10.57. And width of column C, this is big, 40.86. So let us make it 40.86 as well, right? And column D, how much? 11 11.14, 11.14. and column E 13 okay so sheet number 2 as well column E will be 13 right fair enough let us keep it like this and we'll now adjust the uh, row heights so row number 1 has a height equal to 33 so we are going to make it 33 all right sheet number one row two row height 28.5 let's make it 28.5 as well <coughs> row three 51 row three let us make it 51 in sheet 2 as well. Okay. And 4, how much? 4 is 15. So 4 will be 15. This is okay. And 5 is, I guess it is 15 as well. Yep. And 6, 15. Okay. So these 5 and 6 are all 15 here as well by default. <clears throat> That's okay. So leave it like that. So you're going to uh, show up to column E and row number 6. And uh, let us see if we just zoom it now. Zoom further. And there's two zoom. Okay, so now it shows from column A to E and row number 1 to 6, okay? And then uh, let us save this like this, okay? Save it. And we are going to insert a logo here, logo of uh, Man United. 
and we are going to write raffle draw here so let us let us let us write this uh, raffle draw caps raffle draw 2019 okay and that that should be column justified center justified and in here we'll have this uh, number that will be generated by the program randomly and in here we'll have this uh, common button okay so we can add this common button here <clears throat> we know how to do it so insert your activex control common button here and what is the caption of this common button who is the lucky winner okay so let us modify it go to properties change the caption and let us write who oh shit who is the lucky winner okay who is the lucky winner let us close it drag it a bit uh, still not visible that's fine so this is the common button you need okay right and also you want to put this black and white thing so let us make it go to property again change the back color make it black and of course you'll have to change the sorry change the font color so we are going to change the whole color from the color palette and make it white right fair enough <clears throat> getting the look no problem and still we have uh, two more things to do in in this cell we'll have to insert this logo of man united and in this cell we'll have to uh, write some for this cell to display the uh, lucky number we'll have to write vba code no problem we'll be doing it so let us insert the man united logo uh, i have this logo in the in my uh, Excel tutorials directory. So I'm going to pick it up from here, insert it, and that is too big. We are going to resize it. Uh, let's click on this and sorry, let's click on this and <clears throat> make it smaller. Size, uh, reduce the size so that it fits into this cell. That's good. So that's nice. That is your logo okay and uh, what else is left we have to write the code okay okay so we are going back to this sheet go to the developer tab design mode turned on click double click on this command button and let us copy paste this these few lines of course from here okay copy close go to sheet 2 double click on this common button and paste it here okay so what is this uh, sub procedure is doing uh, this will actually the raffle numbers actually range from 050 to 600 so what we have done is uh, we we are <coughs> generating random numbers so this is your function rand between okay so we are generating uh, random numbers uh, from 10 to 699 so that should cover your uh, raffle numbers because your raffle number starts from 50 and the maximum number is 600 and we are going from 10 to 699 and in order to generate this uh, or use this function in excel vba we have used this code application dot worksheet function you know how to do it i have demonstrated it earlier and we have we have stored these uh, rand uh, the out uh, the outcome or the number generated by this function in cells 36. So where is cells 36 here? Let us go back to sheet number two. This is row number three, and cells 36 will be one, two, three, four, five, and six is in here. So that will be the uh, location where this number will be stored. Okay not this one not e it will be stored in f okay or e is it uh, a b c d e, f okay <clears throat> so 
So uh, let us change this, this column notations to uh, numbers. That makes it easier for us to so go to files and options, go to formulas and click on this one. So that should convert the uh, column notations into numbers. So we are storing it in where? We are storing it in cells 36. So that means we are storing it in, this is row number three and this is column number six. So that will be stored here. The random number generated will be stored here, okay? And we want this to be displayed in this cell, okay? So this cell, the address of this cell is 33. So what we have written in this uh, sub procedure is cells 33 three is equal to O, capital O, that is put in close commas. So that means we are we want it to appear as a text just to camouflage that this has a leading zero. And then we are using and, ampersand, and then cells 36 value. So that will uh, sort of concatenate uh, this and that, okay? And show it in cell 33. That is fine, very simple. Only two lines of codes, nothing much. We have used one rand between function, Excel function, and we have used the simple tricks of how to concatenate a text and a number, okay? And the font size is already declared here. Is it declared? Let's see. The font size should be 48. So let us make it 48. So whatever is, uh, whatever generates uh, through the Excel VBA program that will be written here. And let us, let us try this common button now. <clears throat> so we are going to click on this common button. Okay, so it has uh, generated this, uh, displayed this number here, here 0290, but before displaying it here, it has definitely uh, generated the number in this cell. So in this cell, it was like 290, and in here, we also have this leading zero, right? That is fine. Uh, now, uh, let us uh, let us make it center justified. Okay, and let us go back to this uh, coding. Where is the code? Code is here. Okay, so if uh, you want this uh, O or the leading zero, if this value, uh, if this value is more than 19, uh, sorry, uh, you, you want this uh, zero, leading zero in front of this, if this value or the number generated by this rank between function is less than 100. But if it is uh, more than 100 or equal to 100, you don't need this leading zero, right? So we are going to use a condition here. If uh, sales three six okay is less than hundred okay we are we are uh, we have used this range between from ten to six ninety nine so uh, this number is not going to be a single digit number we only we, we need only one leading zero so if sales three six is less than uh, hundred then you do this, else, else we want the cells 3, 3 value to be equal to cells 3, 6 value and there is no problem, okay? So, that is your code. So, we are generating <coughs> random number between 10 and 699 and if the generated number is less than 100 you need a leading zero to show it in three digits but if it is more than 100 but it will be less than 699 anyway so in that case cells 33 can be equal to cells 36 okay i hope you have uh, got the crux of the problem okay uh, that that gives a better look i always love uh, indenting the lines of codes like this, okay? Keep the main functions in front and the lines of codes in between, keep always keep them indented.
so that gives you more clarity and let us try it now close it okay uh, let's click on this one see when this is a three digit number it is not showing any leading zero okay okay we are still not getting a two digit number that will generate randomly so you'll have to wait if you're lucky you'll get it if you're not you will not get it let us okay yeah you're, you're lucky so when it generated a two digit two digit number now it has used that if statement and put a leading zero in fact it is not a zero it is an it is a uh, caps o uh, but it looks like zero that is okay right so this is how this program is working now we need to give a finishing touch touch and that is what we will have to put a color so what we are going to do is we will click here and we will make this whole sheet this color right and we will have to make this font big and what was the size of font here 22 and color was like this and there was underlined so we are going to do that so let us make it 22 size that's good and change the font color here and the font color was i think it was pink or whatever pink yeah pink and you can also underline it make it bold that's good so that is your uh, raffle draw uh, application for manchester united fc club and they must be happy i mean if you give it give it free uh, give it for free to them they'll be very happy to use it just try this once again click click and you're getting new raffle numbers some of the numbers may be out of range i mean in in, in the sense that uh, uh, because your raffle draw raffle numbers actually are in the range from 050 to 600 so but you have uh, generated from 10 to 699 so some of the numbers may go out of range that is okay that that means those numbers are not valid numbers this is a valid number that is fine this is a valid number within the range within the range these are within the range this is not right just okay i can't go back uh, i have to be careful this is even within the range this is not within the range because the maximum number is 600 so this is not a valid number no there is there will be no winner for this number definitely uh, again this one is not a valid number there will be no winner for this one there will be winner for this one this one okay so this is how you can develop an application for raffle draw uh, using excel vba thanks very much thanks for watching this